it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you too. Gosh, I was uh, getting choked up last night in the phone, you know? Because I could, I could sense, I could hear your emotion. Yeah, yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been waiting a while to hear about this. And oh, just taking it back when I heard it was you. Yeah, I'm glad you called back. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually <laughs> I thought I was calling your parents' phone. number, your own phone. If you go in yeah, I was at work, but... Yeah, West Point has some pretty successful graduates, you know. Yeah, yeah my uncle is actually a graduate on that. Yeah, I was reading in your application, I think you said that. How you doing? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. You yeah. you a couple months ago, Absolutely. Right? Yeah, Cuna, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I remember, didn't we speak right at the end of my tour? Yep. Yeah. 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 We had like a basketball team around you, I think, at that point. We had a bunch of tall guys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I remember you mentioning your son to me. Yeah. So this is... Mom. I'm his mom, Kelly. Uh, Kelly, how are you? I'm well. Very nice well. to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Well, huh. Pretty exciting, huh? I'm very excited. I'm sure you're proud. So tell me about yourself, very Christian. Proud. I'm a senior. I'm uh, in <laughs> football, <laughs> golf, and baseball. I last year I was the president of our engineering club, which that has sort of faded away a little bit. But I'm a four-time state qualifier in speech team. I'm a state champion last year in baseball. I'm uh, nice. in NHS, yeah. Sometimes what position do you play in baseball? Second, utility, wherever they need me. Second, oh, yeah? Good. Second, short. And you won the state title last year? Yeah. What class is that? 3A. 3A? Wow. Oh, very good. Yep. And now it's coming up. You'll play again on that team this summer, right? Yeah. For as long as I can. Because yeah. obviously I'm going to have to leave early. <laughs> So engineering is your interest? Oh yeah, for sure. Do you know what type of engineer, electrically, is that um, engineer or civil or mechanical? Um, West Point actually has mechatronics engineer. Not many schools offer it. It's more What's it called? Like mechatronics. That's it's it's a fairly new field. It's a and combination it of mechanical, electrical, computer systems, and basically all the fields. But it's unmanned drones as well as military robots. Oh, I got a nice drone for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 about his, his history and what he's done. He's not your traditional politician. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, definitely not a traditional politician. I'm a career small business guy. Okay. And I own software companies that have, uh, one of them went public in the mid 90s on the NASDAQ stock exchange. We develop computer aided design software okay. that uh, you know, home builders can design a home on the right. computer and do the walkthrough. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's getting to the point you put the you put the hood on and you actually yeah. feel like you're actually yep. in the home. We're not to that point, right? right. But you can do the walkthrough in virtual reality on the screen. Yep. And we saw that worldwide. Uh, so I've been in that business for twenty something months. Most of my adult life, I've been in the software business, which is high tech, but not compared to what you're talking yeah. about. But I'm a, I'm a career business guy, right. Right? not a career politician. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I think our military are the finest, absolute national treasures, heroes. Yeah, they really are. And, uh, you know, people like yourself, I look at these other resumes, and, and i got to imagine everybody else at West Point is just like you, very accomplished. You know? So I'm sure it's very competitive. Right. What do you think? All those folks going into the military, amazing. You know, and as I was telling you on the phone when I walked down the hallways, of Congress and come up, you know, come face to face with two star, three star generals, uh, you know, with their, with their chest just filled full of medals. Uh, it still just kind of uh, you know, gives me goosebumps. It really does. Yeah, because uh, elimination is fine. So I'm so proud that you're uh, choosing to serve the country. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my God, I'm proud to have you in the district. Yeah, we'll follow your career. Your name? Chuck Steckelberg. Chuck, nice to meet you. Yeah, oh, you're his counselor? Yeah. yeah. Can you take all the credit for, for West Point, right? No, that's all his doing. He's been a great he, uh, he took everything he needed to do. He took it all and he made it his own. And he, anything that needed to be done, he would get it organized. He'd come in and say, we need to get this and this and this done. Any arrangements that had to be made, he made them. Um, it was just kind of me following his lead on this one. It's amazing what he's, uh, what he's done, all the activities. I mean, he should really be proud of himself because of, he pursued this. He was the one that went after this and pursued it and made it happen. And, you know, I've been lucky enough to know him since he was in fifth grade. So I've seen him grow since he, you know, when we moved down here, our boys played, or my boys played on his basketball team. And, you know, I've seen him grow from a little bit of fifth grader until the young man that we got. Right
of the girls are smiling at him. <laughs> this is uh, my current engineering teacher. Mr. Hey, how you doing? Good. Congressman Blum. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Brian Benham. Brian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? Pretty good student? No, not very good. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> is that what you've been hearing? Kind of slacker, is what oh, I heard. Man. I'm concerned. I'm, I'm just concerned. really trying to get him up to the next level, if you know what I mean, but it's not easy for him. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna make it at West Point. Oh, huh? man. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna excel. Printing is <laughs> in right now for our rocket. I think I had my application I'm on a rock I'm leading a rocket team. These are two of the three fins that are gonna be at the bottom. Oh, how do you think it's gonna go? Uh the goal is to get it as close to 600 or so meters, I believe, and from launch to when it hits the ground, it's supposed to be as close to 45 seconds as possible. Sure. This is the other engineering class? Yeah. Um, that white rocket is the one that we're currently working on. Oh, this up here? Yep. And then, hey, everybody. Hi. How we doing? Good. I heard this room is where all the smartest kids in the school are. Is that true? Yeah. All right. Is it true? I think so. All right. All right. Yep. Yes. Smart. And the best looking, I heard. No. <laughs> no. He says no. Wait, 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 why'd you say that? Huh? I don't know. Right here's the, oh, the star. Yeah, yep, the white one is the one that worked Look at the size of that thing. Yeah. yeah, my brother was on that team. The blue one qualified to go to D.C. and then the next year, the, um, all the uh, D.C. qualifiers can do SLE, which is where they make that. That is a good set. How high did that one go? Uh, it's supposed to go a mile. They never got to launch it. A mile it. high? Yep. They never got to launch it? Uh -huh. Why? Because there was a clearance issue the day they were supposed to. Because you need to get FFA clearance, fly, and they were supposed to go to Minnesota. Yep. So, Congressman, uh, what do you think about uh, Christian's uh, uh, ex or his uh, credentials uh, well, heading into West Point? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing story. Uh, very few people. Uh, even uh, come close to a, to applying for West Point, much less getting accepted. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm so proud to have Christian in, in my district, and uh, we look forward to uh, following his career as he goes forward at West Point. But I mean, it's a high it's a high bar you have to cross to get accepted to West Point. Very high bar, mm -hmm. and uh, his I mean, he's got near flawless grade point, and uh, his extracurricular activities, both at the school and outside organizations, amazing. I don't know how he has any time to. To have any personal time, uh, but uh, uh, he's very typical of West Point uh, mm -hmm. appointees, and uh, yeah, I know he has an engineering interest, and uh, we're, just, we're once again we're so proud of him, and uh, I'm so I'm so proud that he's assert, uh, decided to uh, uh, serve his nation uh, at West Point, and then he plans on staying in the military afterwards, at least for a while. I know, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, we're, we're, I think it's the highest honor someone can do is to serve their country. So uh, we're so mm -hmm. we're so proud of him. That's why it's good to be here at Waverly High School, and uh, he's kind of a superstar now as we're walking the hallways. I notice all the girls are, are grinning and, and turning their heads as he walks by. And I'm, well, I'm in his fan club. We're just we're just tagging along. Do you want to come in? Hi. Hi. How are you doing, I'm Congressman Kelly. Nice Kelly. to meet you, Mrs. Egan. I love your attitude. <laughs> we're learning about Israelis. What are you studying? Uh, <laughs> are you learning anything? What about your teacher? Oh, pretty good, kind of good, no good, what? Great. 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 So what, what's this class called again? Contemporary Issues. Oh, that, oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. Once you get it figured out, come to Congress. Give us the answer. We're looking for them. <laughs> that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're trying to figure out. What should we do? Israel, Palestine. Well, I'll tell you what. You can figure that out. <laughs> we'll no You're going to get a Nobel prizes. Peace Prize. Yep. This class is going to get a Nobel Peace Prize. You can figure that out. You'll get presented. You may or may, or may not know this. There's these things called challenge points. And uh, if you like, if you tour the Pentagon, a lot of the generals will have under their desks covered glass just challenge coins. And lots of military organizations have their own coins. And throughout your career, you're going to get a lot of challenge coins, they're called, and you'll be given a lot of them. But I want to give you your first one. And this is a coin from the U.S. House of Representatives. So it's your first one. So hopefully you keep it in a special place, because I'm sure you're going to have a desk full of them uh, for your career. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Please do it. Please do it. <laughs> what's it like to, to uh, be a plebe coming up in the, in the fall? Well, it's a little unbelievable. It's still sinking in. I can hardly believe it. I've been dreaming of this for a very long time, and it feels good to finally be a reality. So why did you uh, want to go into West Point? Well, I, many people ask that question, and thinking, thinking about it, 
endless opportunity really. I will receive a great education, some great leadership training, and I'll be able to serve in the or in the world's finest military. And with no it, it's really amazing. It's it's something we've been thinking about and we know he's been dreaming about it. Uh, you know, never really knowing if it would become a reality. And as of uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you know, you start to think more about Plan B, knowing that some of the appointments are starting to roll out. And uh, so, yeah, the the news that came yesterday uh, from Congressman Blum mm -hmm. was just an incredible uh, relief and a mm -hmm. ton of excitement. All right. mm -hmm. So, uh, so what else are you looking forward to uh, when when you get over there? Oh, definitely the education. And I love engineering and. Engin or West Point is an engineering school. Military engineering is the genesis of engineering, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to study it where it began.